Hi friends, this is Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. This is a video lecture about the circuit analysis by Laplace transform. Here we are given a series RLC circuit. See this is in series. This is R, L and C circuit. And you should note here that this capacitor is initially charged to 1 volt. Okay. It has initially 1 volt charge and uh, this is the switch at t equal to 0 it is closed and initial conditions are this capacitor is charged by 1 volts and what we want we want to find the current it okay this current it in this circuit and we also want to draw the s domain representation of this circuit so we will see how we can find the current it using laplace transform we will see here how to do the calculations using kvl in the circuit and uh, apply the laplace transform inverse laplace transform and then the s domain representation of this circuit so watch this video till the end you will see many concepts in this so here we have uh, three components this resistance of 2 ohm one henry inductor and a capacitor of half farad having one volt initial charge initial volt okay so here we are going to write the differential equation of this uh, circuit RLC series RLC circuit and we will apply the KVL Kirchhoff's voltage law and we know that the net potential drop okay in this closed loop will be zero according to KVL so let's apply it and you should know that uh, we will add up these all uh, uh, potentials across each element and it should in, a, in this sequence uh, here we are taking this clockwise direction and in the direction of current as we know that uh, current flows in uh, from higher voltage to lower voltage and if we are considering this direction this clockwise direction of current then uh, we are assuming that uh, here if if you take this this element first inductor then here if it is current is flowing in this downward direction according to this clockwise direction so the higher voltage is at this place and here it is lower voltage so current is flowing from higher to lower so the potential difference uh, if we see it is the final potential minus initial potentials so lower potential minus higher potential will give us the negative potential so let's consider this uh, concept so let's apply the kvl in clockwise direction so current is flowing in this way in every element so if you consider this inductor then uh, in an inductor the voltage drop is denoted by l di by dt and uh, its negative sign sign means it is flowing from higher to lower current is flowing from higher to lower so this voltage is lower voltage minus higher voltage so this voltage is negative now move in this direction for this it is a plus 1 volt so from here to here if we go so final minus initial is positive it is higher voltage so final minus initial voltage is the difference in voltage across this element so it is positive so plus vc0 plus the initial voltage across the capacitor and now this this is the capacitive element and for this capacitive element current is flowing in this direction so it is again lower minus higher final minus initial voltage higher current is flowing from higher to lower voltage we are considering this direction so it is negative 1 upon c integral it dt so with negative sign this is the voltage across the capacitors formula and for this current is in this direction higher voltage to lower voltage current is flowing so final minus initial gives us lower minus higher voltage and negative resistance negative voltage difference so this is minus r into i i into r is the voltage drop across the resistor so this net potential drop is equals to zero now we will rearrange this simply how we can rearrange this we rewrite this equation just to multiply both sides with the negative or you can just uh, change the signs on both sides so this becomes positive this negative positive this becomes positive okay so we have rewritten this uh, equation 
now we will apply the laplace transform okay laplace transform for this differential equation we know that the laplace transform of l dit by dt would be this is the uh, derivative derivatives different uh, laplace transforms formula is this l is outside and dit by dt is laplace transform is s i s minus i zero plus okay this is initial current and this is a constant and for constant laplace transform is uh, this is constant value vc zero plus divided by s a constant value divided by s and for uh, an integral the laplace transform is uh, that integral value divide this i s for integral i t d t is i s by s and this one upon c is uh, here we are taking it as it is okay plus r into i i t is laplace transform is i s r i s equals to zero now let's put these values the inductors value is one henry we are putting its values and initial voltage on the capacitor we have seen that it was one volt capacitance value is a half farad resistance value 2 ohm and i0 plus this is the initial inductor initial uh, current uh, on the inductor as we know that uh, inductor behaves as an open circuit so initial current would be zero through the inductor so in this equation just put these values i have just uh, put these values of resistance capacitance inductance and initial voltages and currents through on uh, resist uh, capacitor and inductor okay so from this this and this take is common and you will get this is as this so is this equation this s square plus 2 s plus 2 can also be written as s plus 1 whole square plus 1 simple mathematics and on taking inverse laplace transform inverse laplace transform of is is it and it's in taking inverse laplace transform on both sides so this side it is it and its laplace transform inverse laplace transform would be e to the power minus t sine t okay this is it, this much of amperes so you should know the basic formulas of laplace transform and uh, inverse laplace transform okay now let's draw the s domain representation of the circuit that we have earlier seen which is very easy look at this so friends look at both of these circuits this is our uh, main uh, circuit and here is the s domain representation of the circuit so how we do this we know that the this I, it can be represented at is let's start it from here and uh, the laplace transform the s domain representation of the inductor is if it is l then it is l into s so l into s l is here one so it's it is l is one so it is simply s and for the resistance it is two the value of resistance is two and uh, for an capacitor for a capacitor the s domain representation is given as 1 by s c c is the value of capacitance so 1 by s c here c value of c is half so if you put half here you will get 2 by s and this is a constant value of 1 volt and uh, vc 0 plus this is what this is the constant uh, this is uh, the initial value of the voltage on the capacitor which is a constant value for a constant value vc0 plus is is its laplace s domain representation is constant value divided by s so its value is 1 by its value is 1 so it is 1 by s and this as we know that uh, initially the this is i0 plus means the initial current uh, through the inductor and we know that initially the inductor behaves as an open circuit so this current is uh, zero so we represent it by i zero plus as uh, zero so i think you got this so this is the s domain representation of the circuit that we have seen so i think uh, you understood the understood all the concepts how we can uh, analyze this circuit using the laplace transform and how to write the s domain circuit okay so thanks for watching see you in the next video please if you liked it please click on the like button and share it with your friends 
and don't forget to subscribe my channel engineering made easy for such informative videos bye bye thanks thanks for watching friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can uh, visit my blog see you soon in the next video till then bye bye